Hello and welcome back to my F Napoleonic France Toria 2 Ultimate Mod Let's Play. Now, last episode, we did actually start preparations to invade Genoa, I do believe. Um, we managed to like defeat the British and Austrians and Russians and stuff like that in the Napoleonic War, so that was pretty decent. Uh, so yeah, we're going to carry on. I'm going to basically just try and like conquer as much as possible and see where that gets me. Uh, so yeah, I think Genoa is a good place to start. Italy, they are a satellite of me, so I can't really do much about that. But, um, you know, Switzerland would be nice to actually take out as well, seems as they are, you know, they could be quite a problem. Because they're, exactly they're not exactly really powerful, but they're not exactly not powerful, if you get what I mean. So yeah, we're going to carry on. Um, we are rebuilding our armed forces from that from that battle, from that war, should I say. Because it did actually take quite quite the hit. Um, so yeah, these two armies up here are like our strong armies, Army 3 and 4. We've got Army 5 down there. And Army 6 here. And we don't actually have an Army 1, 2 or 3 for some reason. We've got a guard in Paris. I wonder what guard troops are used for. And it turns out they're used to guard cities. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to get forts there. We'll also expand the naval base there. And we'll get forts along our border. Because we've got to be careful when we are declaring war on nations. Because they will invade. And these are the first provinces that they'll probably go to. So It's quite expensive forts. I'm going to admit. Like 12,000 per fort usually. Look at that one, 12,000. And the, does the price rise as we go along? Right, it sort of fluctuates, I guess. It must depend on how expensive materials are and stuff like that. So yeah, we've got a nice fort line now. We've got a nice defence on our western front. Uh, well, I say that, we haven't yet, but it's building it. I will get forts along our Spanish border, because you never know when when shit goes down. We may end up going to war with them for some reason. Uh, I can now actually invade Genoa. So... How, why is it not coming up? I swear I just... What? Oh right, so it's only just it's still doing it. I was gonna say it's popped up some about a conquest Cassius spell, so I, I thought that I don't know. Siam looks as though it's gonna be trying to conquer Luang Prabang or whatever it's called. What a strange name. It's a shame you can't do more Cassius spells, you know, more than one at once, I think. But Yes. Uh USA Still allied with Portugal. We've got good relations, but they don't want an alliance whatsoever. Uh, so I'll just leave them to that. Is there any wars going on? Not at the moment. Nothing's going down yet. I think it'll take time. We are the third power, so we have actually dropped from first to third, which is a bit annoying. But as we start to conquer some nations, we should should arise. Uh, because we'll gain pre prestige and land and more troops and stuff like that. So that'll be nice. Uh, I've got to... Suppression points is... Got rebel factions. Yeah, we earn quite a lot of, like, nations around here. So they're going to be, like, wanting to... Wanting to rebel at some point. I won't let them. I shall cut them down as soon as possible. As soon as this is done... Your demise is about to arise. Some nation Spain work join. I can, I can think I can conquer them on my own. They've got no allies. In fact, no, they're allied with Spain, so we're probably going to go to all of them now, which I didn't realise. Yes. Not Spain, Switzerland, should I say. Uh, oh dear. Well. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, letters... Send this army. We might as well get our whole army going across there. 
Janela's invading. I think have they mobilised? Yes, they have. But they're not going to they're not going to cause any problems for me. I don't think this war will last very long, guys. I've already taken Saverna. Let's attack them. Go for the capital. You can go there. I'm going to slow it down a bit. We've nearly researched army professionalism as well, so that should boost our military. A slight bit more. Shit, this army just got... Why has this army lost so much? We won, but... What the hell? I don't understand. Why do we lose so much to attrition? I do find that quite annoying. I'm going to send this back up. To Dunkirk. Because I don't want them to lose any more troops. Genoa. Can we have peace in our. Oh shit, no. We've got to take some more of. Some more of Switzerland by the looks of it. There we go. We're still at war with Switzerland though. But at least we've taken that. I'll expand these forts. Oh god, look at this. Why is our army just collapsed so easily? It's quite an annoying thing, actually. But we'll send them back to Bordeaux. We're not researching anything. Uh, so we'll go for some industrial stuff. We're all going to stay in Turing. Um, and I'm going to have our troops now. Which is just great, isn't it? Uh, so, we want... I want a stack of 36 like this. This is 36,000 men. So we want 222 two, two of each, basically. So. Two infantry. Two artillery. And we'll have dragoons. Two dragoons. And that'll do that. And then this one. We want. Four and one. Which shouldn't be too hard to get. There's our one. And there's our four. And then them armies will be bolstered up now. We'll attack these. So Switzerland wants peace. Is it possible for me to get a war goal? It will be. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep attacking. I think. I'm gonna fall back into there just to just to regenerate. Nope, sorry. Because yeah, I, I need to be careful of losing troops to attrition. It's not very nice whatsoever. When can I add a war girl? It's not too long, is it? Oh fuck it. We'll just get peace with them. I'll deal with you later. deal with you later. I will not forget this. I will not forget this. What are the building here? Troops by the looks of it. What's our production like? Not very good is it? I think we need to encourage workers which we actually are doing. Craftsmen should I say. Uh, we do have some projects going on. I've gone to the wrong tab. Uh, which I can actually fund. Which I'm going to do. Uh, so, yeah, is there isn't there a way of seeing whether a factory will be profitable or not? I can't tell where it is. Apparently, there's a way, but I don't know. I don't know where. And also, there's a way of building a sh like building um forts by province. Like if you hold control and then click expand, look, it builds it in all of the provinces. Which is quite a handy tip, uh, which I which actually Z optimates if you watch him taught me how to do, which is quite nice. So yeah, we'll get expanding these. It's quite expensive, obviously, because it's doing it in bulk, isn't it? So it's bound to be. Uh, right, let's pick our next target. I could try and take Palmer. 
They're allied with Austria though, so they probably don't want to. So are they. Yeah, this is the only thing that's going to really hold me back. It's just the fact that these... Some of these nations are allied with certain ones. I think we'll go for the Palinate. So, yes. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't really want to go to war with Austria. Not until I've, like, built up my army and got a bit stronger. Because, obviously, after each war, we tend to lose a shitload of stuff. Which is quite annoying, but... It's just how it goes, isn't it? So we'll let my money build up, and then we'll get building some more. But yeah, you can see all of these provinces are building forts now. And that's going to help us out. Especially in defence. In terms of defence, anyway. Uh, let's have a look at our budget. What are we spending? What are we taxing? What are we doing? I've got a massive tariff. I'm going to decrease that to 50% gonna hit our income by about 400 can't spend any money on social I could go for admin I think I will do we'll, we'll get our admin going up and I'm gonna increase education as well so we're maxing out on everything pretty much uh, I could reduce the taxes for the rich as well but that actually generate that much anyway so yeah, I'm happy with 400 per turn. That's pretty decent. Have we lost troops here? Shit, we have. God damn it. Right. They need to go down there. I know it's just a matter of waiting for more troops, which we should be getting fairly shortly, actually. I've got training these artillery. It's quite strange, isn't it? Maybe we don't have the resources. Gather gathering the following goods before construction can begin. Zero out of fifteen. Yeah, we don't have enough. How do I even get more? How do I get more? I think, is it, I'm guessing it's trade, or if I build an artillery factory. I might build an artillery factory. I don't want to do that. I want to turn the music down a tiny bit. It's a bit loud. Um, so yeah, they're going to move down. It's, oh, we've moved back up to second as well. That's a great power, which is nice. You can go down there as well. What's Britain doing with this ship here? Navy as well. We've got to think about our navy. Um, I want to know where my other navy is. Apparently, I've got 21. Well, I've got, I can only see 15 here. It must be in a colony somewhere, but I don't know where. Um... Where would it be? I honestly don't know. Hmm. Strange. I've got some more troops coming up. Uh, dragoons and infantry. Right, you're going down there then. You are going to move down here. So are you? Although, no, you're not. Because you're not a Dragoon. You are. And where was the Hussar here? And I think... That's it. I think we've organised our troops. I like to have a similar amount of... Um, of units in each army. Sometimes you can't always achieve that, but still. Um, this is annoying. Let's build a factory then. Although I need to find out where our workers are. So if we go into population and we go craftsmen. There are own there's there is only eight thousand three hundred and fifty nine craftsmen in France. That is it. So you know, there's not that many. Uh 
these are all the different types of people. Um, what I'm basically looking for, I don't, I want aristocrats, I want craftsmen, don't I? It'll take a while to find. These craftsmen, no, these are artisans. Craftsmen. We don't have any. We've got hardly any. Oh god. Um, well, we'll have to wait then, won't we? It's just it's pointless building any factories unless we've got more people to fill them. I could build one in Vlandir and artillery. Which we haven't actually unlocked yet. Um, right, this is a tricky situation. Could we... Where's the trade? I don't even know how this works, to be honest. I've never really used it. Military goods. Is this artillery? See, it's got high demand. What are we buying, if anything? Don't you do that? And then confirm trade? It's not doing anything, is it? I don't know. We'll leave it. We'll have to wait. Eventually it'll get built, I should think. Right, is this done? No, I want some more... Cavalry, don't I? Uh, I want more Hussars, and I also want... So I want four Hussars. Four Hussars. Shouldn't be too hard to get. I don't want bloody African ones, so do I? It's too far away. There we go. That should be fine. I think I'll end it here then. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next episode, where we will take the Palinate. And yeah, should be quite. Thank you and goodbye.